Well, Big Society Capital is the, really the world's first social investment bank. We are funded with 600 million pounds of equity, about a billion dollars, two thirds of which comes from bank accounts which have been separated from their owners for 15 years or more. And the other 200 million pounds comes from the four largest banks and what in the UK. And what we're interested in doing is developing the social investment market, connecting social entrepreneurs to the capital market in the same way that business entrepreneurs have traditionally been connected. The current crisis is throwing up the need for austerity. And you can see that uh, a big part of the population is having a very rough time of it. Also, social issues which have persisted have begun today to be viewed as intractable. And we need to find a way to deal with them. And I believe that social investment, which harnesses the power of entrepreneurship, innovation and, and capital, is the way forward, in addition to what government and traditional philanthropy can do. We've been able to create a security which moves from a social performance to a financial return. It's called a social impact bond. The first example of it is in the UK. It deals with young prisoners from Peterborough Prison. And to the extent that the not-for-profits that are funded by the five million pounds that, that we've raised, with our help, fail to reduce the rate of re-offending by these prisoners, which is extremely high, the money's lost. But if these not-for-profits succeed in reducing the re-offending rate, then government pays back the capital, and also a yield that goes from two and a half, a low yield, to 13%, a very attractive yield. And it's funded by the savings which government ought to be able to make as a result of that. So for the first time, a not-for-profit can deliver a financial return and go back to the capital markets and raise more capital in order to scale up and make an impact on you know, important social issues. So I think the Rockefeller Foundation has been a fantastic help in this because it has uh, led from the front. It participated in the funding of social finance in the UK uh, and social finance in the US. These are the two um, investment banks, the social investment banks at the retail level, uh, which are developing these um, approaches. It also invested in the first social impact bond issue ever. And it is a great help uh, to have a, a shining light of uh, the social sector, such as Rockefeller, saying, hey, we don't want to abandon traditional philanthropy, but we have to find something to add to it.